Hello, coolers. Welcome to Viva Barca, the home of everything Barca. In this episode, we are going to be discussing on two stories. We are going to begin with Mark Andre Ter Stegen, as it has been reported that the Barcelona administration are considering, you know, the possibility of, you know, cashing in on Ter Stegen maybe next summer. You know, given the fact that the club really needs money, and of course, Ter Stegen not really been on his best form lately. We are going to be discussing on the report as we move ahead. Then, secondly, we are going to be talking about this other transfer as they are saying that Barcelona are reconsidering their position on the transfer of Portuguese midfielder Renato Sanchez, that Laporta is showing some interest somehow lately, you know, of the possibility of Renato Sanchez coming to FC Barcelona. We are going to be discussing on that as well. So guys, as we get ready to discuss those stories in much detail, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. If you haven't subscribed, if you are just coming across this channel for the first time, give this video a like and make sure to watch this video right up to the very end. Barcelona's financial situation saw them being unable, you know, to hold on to superstar Messi this past summer, while they were also forced to offload Antoine Griezmann late in the transfer window in order to reduce their wage bill. But with things still not looking good on the economic front, Barca could be forced to consider offloading more high-value players in order to make cuts to their payroll as well as, you know, generate some funds from that sale. And as per report from this Catalan publication, El Nacional, one player whose sale is now being discussed is that of first choice goalkeeper Mark Andre Ter Stegen. Of course, Ter Stegen has been with FC Barcelona since 2014 when he arrived from Borussia Mönchengladbach. Having evolved into one of the best goalkeepers in Europe during his time at the Camp Nou, Ter Stegen is a key part of the Barcelona setup. Indeed, to date, Ter Stegen has racked up 287 appearances, you know, keeping 113 clean sheets in the process. While there are no doubts over his quality, the report states that Barcelona are concerned by his steep wages. Furthermore, Barca see the German shortstopper as one of the few players who could help them bring in large proceeds from a sale. You know, you know. So, in addition to that, there are concerns that the Stegen's form has somewhat dipped since his return from injury. You know, that also needed surgery. Should Barcelona decide, you know, to go ahead to sell the Stegen, there seems to be no shortage of suitors. German record champion Bayern Munich have been keen on the Stegen. You know, as a long-term replacement for compatriot Manuel Neuer. In addition, the likes of Manchester United, Tottenham Hotspur and Chelsea would also be ready to pay a big offer to sign him, the report adds. Should Barcelona indeed decide to offload Ter Stegen, they already have identified a replacement for him. You know, Ajax shortstopper Andre Onana, who has a history with the Catalan Giants, having spent time within the La Masia, you know, is on top of the shortlist, the report states. The Cameroonian international will be a free agent at the end of the season with his contract running out. Apart from Onana, Tottenham Hotspur have France captain Hugo Lloris, you know, is also an option under consideration, given as he would also be available on a free transfer. Finally, the third option for Barcelona would be to promote um, from within the club with Inaki Pena and Arno Tenas, both showing great potential within the youth and B team ranks. Their second signed a new contract in October last year, extending his contract till 2025. You know, selling him with the club in a transition phase might not be the smartest move from Barcelona. Then moving on to the next story of discussion. Before the El Clasico defeat yesterday, the last couple of weeks have been pleasant ones for us. You know, two wins in two games, including their first of the season in the UEFA Champions League. Coupled with the contract extensions of two of their most prized assets in Pedri and Ansu Fati, have brightened the mood around the Camp Nou. Club president Juan Laporta, however, is already planning for the future, you know, with talks over a potential transfer target for the summer transfer window being held. Indeed, as per report from Sport, Laporta has spoken about signing Leo midfielder Renato Sanchez with his representative Josh Mendes. Of course, the Portuguese super agent, whose clientele consists of the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo, Fabinho, Edison Moraes, you know, Bernardo Silva, among many other high-profile superstars, also represents Barcelona wonder kid and Sofati. It is claimed that following Barca's 1-0 win over Dinamo Kiev, you know, last Wednesday night when Fati's contract extension was announced, 
Laporta had a dinner meeting with Mendes, where the likes of Rafael Yustel, Matteo Alemani were also present. You know, the meeting is said to have taken place at Japanese restaurant Yashima, during which Laporta and Mendes discussed various things, among which was the topic of Renato Sanchez. Of course, Sanchez has been on Barcelona's agenda for a while now, but the transfer has never really materialized. You know, Laporta was believed to be keen on signing the Portuguese last summer, but the player was not even keen on an exit. However, that is said to have changed now, with Lille president Olivier um, Letang in, um, indicating as much in a recent interview when he said, I've already talked about that, I've already discussed it with him. If an offer comes from a big club, Renato Sanchez can leave. We'll see what happens. But for now, he is with us and he's happy to be here. With Laporta now holding talks with Mendes about the possibility of signing Sanchez, it will be interesting to see if Barcelona make a formal approach for Renato Sanchez in the near future. With his contract with the Ligue 1 champions running out in 2023, he could very well be available for a bargain price in the summer. So guys, with that we come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video and I also hope you did subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to do so so you always stay up to date with the freshest updates on FC Barcelona here on this channel Viva Barca. Until next time, bye bye.